You know, I uh, live in the city, so there's always sounds. One can't escape that. But I do my best to create my own little section of heaven. The daffodils have come, and now they're going. <clears throat> this was my Christmas tree. And uh, it's a green giant. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. I haven't talked to anybody all day long. I haven't even tested my voice out, and here I am making a video. So, good morning. So these right here are daffodils that were forced uh, because I bought them. Oops, I bought them in containers like this. And when you force bulbs, it takes them a whole season to come back. So this year they're just green, but they're pretty. And this is the rest of my Christmas decorations um, I haven't put away yet because I've been lazy and also I like looking at them as we're getting ready to spring forward. So yes, my green giant um, is root bound. And I never know how much water to give it. So I could have figured that out. It feels really dry. Are you getting thirsty? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and give. So I really like going outside in the morning. And I have a rabbit that comes and greets me. And then there's birds because, yeah, I put out little apples and little um, pieces of whole grain bread. I leave the best for the birds. And, you know, I keep things maintained. Nature plants things, and I maintain them. And then this right here is a plant that needs to be transplanted, actually. It's supposed to have little purple flowers. But now mine's just twiggy. <laughs> and this planted itself and the squirrels um, did what they did to it. And I'm going to take a bonsai class to figure out what I'm supposed to do with, with what I have going on here. Because these things are supposed to be really tall. And it planted itself. Now this here rosemary, I just have sitting out in this pot. Oops. And it's got a little hole in it. And it's just going to be out here in the sun, just sitting, just being a rosemary. So that I can grab some rosemary fresh whenever I need it when I'm cooking. Yep. Um, I have my little lovebirds. Because, yes, yeah, I'm a romantic at heart. I'm just not ready for a relationship at all because <clears throat> um, I'm still getting to know who I am. I really realized that it had been such a long time of being in a relationship that I haven't really gotten to know myself and especially since it wasn't until August of 2022 that I came back from a visit to Arizona to see my parents. And I had been healing from narcissistic um, relationships, finding out what it was, learning what the confrontational personality type really was and what their formula was. And I never recognized it in my mother, my entire life. And in fact, each relationship I didn't have a name for. I just didn't understand why you couldn't have a conversation with one of them. These narcissists, you marry them and then things change. They rage at you. What are they mad about? Uh, they find reasons to nitpick, find some way to make you feel or try to make you feel badly about yourself so you have to go within to have a sense of yourself and you go within and you become stronger. But it's no fun to always have to combat your way through life. 
So I'm coming out of that full-time combat, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm like this Poinsettia. Oh my God, I get a Poinsettia finally, and uh, knowing it's gonna turn into this. <laughs> because they only look good when you buy them in the store and then they slowly start dying on you. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> mm. See, I'm still drinking out of my Christmas mug. Because <laughs> I, I just love the size. <clears throat> so I, I have to uh, belly up to the bar, as they say, and get another favorite mug, but... I decided to allow myself Christmas mug anytime I want. I'm an adult. <clears throat> Whatever makes me happy floats my boat. You know, uh, I really like Christmas for its beauty, for the lights. I think if everybody just got poinsettias and put greenery around and did maybe the minimal amount of gift giving, but it's turned into this big, mess and when I raised kids they, they were so demanding it's almost like the um, is it the Jehovah Witnesses they got it right I used to think they were weird but now I, I see how wise they are they don't celebrate anything but anniversaries now that's a bit extreme if you ask me but <laughs> they don't even acknowledge birthdays we, we, some of us, we celebrate an entire week, if not more. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't get sick until uh, I was, I turned 60 in 2023, but that was January. And I was dealing with the toxic shock of um, recognizing that my mother was a narcissist and pathologically so. And that was then the rug that pulled out from underneath me my entire egoic structure of who I thought I was. And I've been rebuilding. And that's called Kitsungi. I've been picking up those pieces and going, wait a minute here. <laughs> that hurt my feelings. That was really mean when you told me I couldn't do the play I wrote because it was stupid and we had practiced at Bonnie Payne's house and I made Betsy Saunders cry when I told her I couldn't do the play anymore. And we had nailed it. It was a funny kid's play. My mother looked at my script. I wrote it just like they do, with capital letters, you know, with everybody and um, knowing their characters and everybody having their own script and us learning it. I did the whole playwright thing. She refuses to let me do it. And what do I do? I comply. I honor my parents. I was a good girl. So I'm, I guess, coming out of being too good, too. And not standing up when I should. But when you've never stood up your entire life, it's a new skill to learn. So I'm learning how to stand up for myself. Take that, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, life's fun, isn't it? Uh, that's a little ball right there. Life is a ball. Yeah, I sweep up the things, that, that uh, all my pieces, and put them together again. So this is my little corner of paradise, folks. I've got room for a guest. Uh, I have this nice, tall... Um, room divider that I use in front of my banister so that that stupid light doesn't shine in my eyes because um, the utility company has put in this huge beam of 200 kilohertz. It's brighter here than it is in the parking lot over with, at the gas station. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about it. It's like wait until 2026 when we can have them changed out for free. Otherwise, it's 500 a lamppost. And we want to wait for the um, ability. I want to wait for the ability to be able to, like, change the law. Because I, all right, I talked to the city of Raleigh. They have no coding compliance for the kilohertz minimal, maximal. 
And I'm saying, hey, it's too much, it's too much. And now um, this, this little area back here, I moved in here in 2017. And it went up incrementally in 2018 when they changed out the nice soft incandescent for these bright blue LEDs. And now they have these 200 kilohertz uh, watts things. I'm oh, sorry, I was saying it wrong. You know what I'm talking about. The measurement of light, 200 kilowatts. <laughs> but is it hertz or watts? I don't know, folks. All I know is it's blue and it's really bright. And you look up at it and it's 200 because we petitioned to have them lower it from 220 to the next lowest. <laughs> and it took them four months to do it, if not more. Oh my God, it took them more. I complained about it in May, but they did it in May. Um, so eight months, I think. June, July, August, September, October, November, December seven months so up there we have um, the morning glory <laughs> I mean the morning dove they populate the area especially because I have this lovely little place for the drinks Insects drink from there, squirrels drink from there, birds drink from there. That's all I've seen drink from there. <laughs> and I found this really cool stick <clears> that <throat> jasmine uh, vine had wrapped around. So that's my walking staff. Eventually I'll make myself a nice long staff. I put a crystal on it like the druids. It will be my walking, talking stick, my, my storytelling stick, when I start telling stories. And my, I, when I tell stories now, I talk about things. Where did we start? Oh, Sharon, with you my backyard. This is my backyard. It may just be a patio, but it's a backyard. It's my backyard. I hope you enjoyed watching my little world. Send me some love. I'm studying German new medicine online. Um, and I'm, I am also seeking to discipline myself enough to write down this process that I've been brainstorming through these videos. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a little cough. Yeah, the process of the kitsungis collecting yourself. But you've, you have the discovery of the narcissistic abuse. That's where I'm going with it. And then you have the recovery. And the discovery in itself can be a process. And for me, it, it, it has been. Because August 2022, that's when I first found out that I didn't get sick at all ever during the whole entire 2020 thing, 2021, until 2023, which was after... I had the shock of finding out the reality of, yes, this is why you've attracted this type of abuse. This is what you thought was love. This was the energy that matched how you were raised, which is, I'm not important. I don't have anything to say. Shut up. Just be, make me look good, Kat. Make me look good. You know, those were all my partners. <clears throat> They're all so mean. And I didn't see it, of course. So. <clears throat> yeah. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make also clay. I think using our hands would be something that we will do. I'll recommend. I think I want to make little birds. You know, just make cute little birds. Because I really love birds. They're so inquisitive. And cute. I love this one. The way it dances. Looking for bugs. 
because you know the apple will attract um, a rabbit who will nibble on it and then the rabbit will go eat something else it's not the freshest of apples that's why I put it out there that was one of my old apples it was a baking apple but I decided to give it to the wildlife because then the rabbit goes away maybe a squirrel will find it and nibble on it or the ants will come and then that will attract other things and we'll have our own little ecosystem back here yeah so part of the process of, of discovery of self is really recognizing and understanding your environment and doing what you can to make your environment yours and peaceful for you and then that's what you do you focus on that But the body oftentimes will become sick after dealing with something. And so um, when, we break, when we get weak, when our, when our body loses chi and we get weak, we can become more susceptible to the inner dialogue that's negative. And it's really important to discipline yourself not to do that. That's essential. And that's one of the key things I talk to people about. It's been well known for years. Some call it the voice of judgment, but there's also um, like the devil on one shoulder and uh, an angel on the other, figuratively. So back to the narcissists, they they seem they tend to have more of um, a tendency of being undisciplined by their emotions, which they deem as facts. If they feel you are doing something to them, then they're going to treat you like you are. And usually they treat you terribly. And they imagine these things and you can't, you can't defend yourself. It's like you're accused, you're tried, you're convicted and hung. It's amazing. All of that's consistent with all of them, <clears throat> including my mom. And and so the, I over explained all the time. And then they'd always say to all of them, why are you so defensive? It's because they put you on the defensive. <laughs> so so it's, it's really fun to be recovering and uh, discovering who I am and sharing it. And that's what my channel, I guess, is turning out to be. So... Wishing you all well. Have a great day. Be sure to be kind and, and easy on yourself. And um, this, these are all my brainstorming videos. I'll, I will compile things into a manual and a workbook. That's my intention. You've heard it. Much love.